Close your eyes and let your mind settle down with the breath. If you're going to talk to yourself about anything, talk to yourself about the breath. How is it going right now? Can you stay with it? Is it comfortable enough? If there are any pains in the body, you can not focus your attention there quite yet. Focus on the parts of the body that are comfortable, because the mind needs to rest. And it's only when it gets really quiet that it begins to realize how much chatter is going on inside all the time. Talking about this, asking about that, wondering about this over there, over here. All kinds of thoughts are coming up in mind, like little bubbles popping. And we run around trying to keep track of them all. And no wonder the mind gets tired. They say that metal work is more exhausting to the body than physical work. Because so many thoughts just keep running and running and running. With physical work, you work for a while and then you can rest. But the mind just keeps hanging on to things, repeating questions over and over again, making comments again. So for it to really get some rest, it has to get really, really quiet. If you're going to talk about anything, just talk about one thing, the breath. Give the mind a chance to see itself clearly. Because then when it returns to thinking, it can get a better idea of which thing thoughts are worth thinking, which ones are not. It helps you get a better idea of what your priorities are and what they should be. In other words, getting the mind quiet is a good way of taking stock and getting your priorities right. This is why the Buddha said this is an important factor leading to discernment. We can't just read books and think things through and come up with a lot of wisdom. The wisdom comes from getting the mind really quiet so it can really observe what's going on. So give the mind the time to be quiet for a while, where it doesn't have any other responsibilities, anything else. You can take up your responsibilities after the meditation, but for right now you're free to be irresponsible, at least as far as the world is concerned. You can be very responsible, though, for your own mind. And that's what really matters.